Hello, I'm Tiffany Barsotti of HealingThrive.com. I'm going to give you some information around personal self-integration, PSI for short. Personal self-integration is a method, a tool, of being able to access the subconscious and the superconscious. And what I mean by superconscious is the helpful beings, sometimes referred to as the high self, higher soul, or guardian angel, depending on what tradition you're steeped in. And if you're agnostic, it really doesn't matter. If you have no belief in, in any of this, somewhere we have to look at where did this world of form come from? So whatever you perceive the world of, war, the world of form having come from, that's really what we're talking about. Consciousness exists, period. I don't think we can deny that piece. It's really not necessary to have a particular spiritual belief or certainly a religious belief around any of this. Understanding the subconscious is really to understand that we are 98% of how we operate is the subconscious. And it's kind of huge to think about that about 10 million bits of data is what our subconscious is dealing with on a regular basis. Whereas the conscious mind is only dealing with 166 bits of information per second. This is a phenomenal set of statistics and measures that where is this information being held? Where is it coming from? Well, there are fields around us, much unlike the way that the Earth has her own fields, the magnetosphere, the ionosphere, the troposphere, etc and the stratospheres, all of them have their own sets of properties and information. So the fields around our body are part of the subconscious mind. So we're constantly bringing in information and taking in what's happening in our outer environment into our inner. And our inner environment is also giving information to the outer. So personal self-integration looks to the fact that we have if you can imagine, some archetypal leaders, if you will, these subconscious selves or inner selves, as we call them, that really are the ruler, the manager over the mental plane, the emotional plane, the etheric and the physical body. So personal self-integration looks at the fact that we are way more complex than we really realize. And a way to actually know this about yourself is, have you ever been in an argument with yourself and nobody wins? Are you aware that you've got multiple voices sometimes on multiple topics running at once? You're not crazy. You're not schizophrenic. This is the voices. These are the voices of your subconscious selves. And they have wisdom and information to share. Through a set of guided imagery meditations and guided meditations, you will be walked through meeting each one of these selves, knowing their personalities, knowing how they tick, what upsets them, what are they here to interact with you about. The truth is, is that we all have fears and oftentimes if we can deal with them and help these subconscious selves be able to get out of the fear state of, let's say, fear of annihilation or fear of being enslaved, which can show up. A fear of being enslaved can show up in relationships. A, oftentimes, if you're about to get married, there might be a part of you that's like, has a great fear about feeling that marriage actually feels like enslavement. That's, it's very dramatic, but these selves can be very dramatic. So the opportunity is really one of the journey to know thyself and understand in these complexities of who we are with all of ourselves involved. We have a body self, we have a, a male and a female self, we have an astral judge self or emotional self, and we have a mental judge self. The mental judge self is the mind, it's the intellect, the part that, that seeks to be able to really manage and is oftentimes one of our biggest inner critics. And it's only doing that because it gathered information from distant past or recent pasts 
doesn't matter. And that information is fed into this field that comes into being beliefs. The reality is, is that a belief is just something, a habit that we keep thinking. So looking at these situations that we get ourselves into in our lives, understanding what our emotional responses to them are, what our mental responses to them are, and oftentimes the mental the mental self will be like a bully to all of the other selves. And the opportunity here is to create harmony. The opportunity here is to create harmony and peace and to be able to interrelate with the outer self being as well as all these subconscious selves. Now this may sound very complicated and trust me, it's not. First of all, it's all guided meditations. It's really easy to do. And I think you're going to be fascinated with the fact that you've got all of these personalities that have a say about what it is that we're doing. And really importantly, that we, the outer self personalities, the, the person that we see when we look in the mirror, we're the ones that are on the living edge, sometimes the bleeding edge of life, and calling the shots. And if we're doing something that maybe one of our subconscious selves is really not in cahoots with, they're not in harmony with these ideas that we want to go perceive and do in the world, go be, do, and have, and experience, if they're not in harmony with this, there's going to be sabotage along the way. And understanding where our sabotages come from can be really, really beneficial. Oftentimes we beat up on ourselves so badly for things, doing things repetitively, not understanding that we have a whole other subconscious self that's actually making mud pies out of information and situations. So it's nice to have a mud pie every once in a while and recognize that lotus flowers bloom out of them. We actually have the ability to transcend and be able to hear from all of these aspects of who we are and be able to learn ourselves better, understand the complexity of who we are, and really, honestly, it gets us to a point of easier living. So if you're interested in personal self-integration or want to talk more about how this actually fits in your world, book a free 15-minute consultation and let's talk about it. The link is below to do that. Thank you.